Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice. Welcome to Moments of Inspiration with your friend Minister Rick coming to you from Hatchet Bay, Luthra in the Bahamas. Thank God the storm has passed over the Bahamas and we are doing well. Listen, today I want to talk to us on a subject called bad habits. Bad habits. Do you have any bad habits? Yeah, you. I know I do. I can eat or drink anything first thing in the morning for breakfast. Leftover food, cake, soda, cold water, etc. <laughs> That's a bad habit. Is this healthy? No. But most bad habits are unhealthy. Bad habits that we notice and condemn. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse, sexual immorality, sweetheart keeping, lying, stealing, smoking, adultery, fornication. We call these the big sins. And these are bad habits that we see every day. Unfortunately, we don't see the small sins. I used to be guilty of many of these bad habits, which God calls sins. But now I'm no longer a slave to sin. You see, God has forgiven me. And I no longer practice these bad habits. If you are still practicing these bad habits, you stand in the judgment of God. And you face separation from God forever. First John 1 and 9 gives us hope though. It says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's what I did, and that's what you could do. You don't have to stay in your sin. Do Christians sin? Do Christians have bad habits? Oh, yes we do. Let's take a look. Selfishness. Yeah, self-righteousness. This is one of the sins of us Christians. You see, God cares about our heart, not our good works. So stop showing off. Stop bragging about the things you do. Stop bragging about what you've done for somebody and what you've done for that person and that thing and how much money you've given away. Self-righteousness and selfishness is a bad habit and a sin. Fear and worry is another sin of Christians. Yeah, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. If you are fearful, and if you worry, mm, you are practicing a bad habit, and that is also sin. Another sin that Christians commit is pride. Yeah, pride. When you fail to forgive someone, you are acting in pride. So somebody hurt you, somebody messed with you, somebody stole something from you, somebody demeaned your character, and now they come to apologize, and you say, no, 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 I will never forgive you you are acting in pride and you are living in sin. And many Christians live that way, unfortunately. Gluttony and coveting. You ever heard someone say you're keeping up with the Joneses? Some Christians buy things that they can't afford. Who are you pleasing? God or man? You buy that big expensive car, get that big loan from the bank, and you can't afford to pay the bank back for that Note, that's gluttony. That's more than day gluttony, and that's coveting. Hey, what about gossip? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Church people live on gossip lane. We try to escape our own issues by talking about other people's issues. This is sin, and it's wrong. We try to escape our problems by pointing fingers and talking about other people's problems. Why don't you talk about your own problems and stop gossiping, Mr. Christian, Mrs. Christian? What about hatred? Hatred is connected to fear. We fear people we don't understand. Yeah, whenever we don't understand somebody, or oh, we fear them. And that fear causes hate. We hate those people who cause us hurt. Sometimes Christians say, boy, I don't like him. Hmm. Oh, I can't stand him. I can't stand her. That's hatred. It's a bad habit, and it's wrong. My final point is judgment. This will be the death of our faith and our influence. Yes, judgment will be the death of our faith. Every time we think less of somebody, 
we forget that we are sinners too. Yes, you are a sinner too, Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian, Mrs. Christian, I am a sinner too. Every time you point one finger at somebody, three fingers are pointing back at you. Listen to me. Here's the answer for conquering bad habits. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There had no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. Here's the good news. Bad habits come through temptation, but God makes a way to escape them. Hallelujah. <laughs> by his grace and by his mercies. Bad habits are sinful. Selah. Think and act on these things. God bless you today.